Good morning world from the island of Bohol. We just parked here by the side of the road, the highway. Poppy has been cooped up on the boat for like eight hours last night. So we're gonna release her, take her down to the beach. Car is doing well, I'm really pleased with this car. I feel very confident in going very long distances in it. So that's good. But anyway, I'm getting distracted. Let's take Popster out. Yeah, we're in Good morning from <laughs> Bohol. Yeah. It's exciting! <laughs> Probably he's ready to explore the smells, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, she needs to have a little morning sniff about. It looks like it's about to start raining, so I'll quickly do that. Someone's playing some reggae tunes over there. Careful that edge, Poppy. Here's the coast. Looking a bit rainy out there. Now I've found access to the beach. It's a pebble beach. Just like the one in Surigao City. This is my current scene. We're going to be driving all along this coastline until we get to our hotel. It's a strange ridge that's been built up here. It's actually really steep. There's a little bit of a plastic waste on the beach as you would expect. What do you think of the sea pops? Are you more interested in the sniffing these pebbles? <laughs> What's your first impressions of Bohol? Hmm? You need more time. More time to get your opinion together, yeah? Me too. You know, for a dog that was born on an island, Poppy is not a very good island dog. She's terrified of the sea. Every time she hears a wave, she starts freaking out. And she's backing away from the sea every time the waves hit. Okay, okay, Poppy, it's just a wave. Don't run away from it. <laughs> no other dogs yet. We haven't encountered any friends, have we? No, nope. just us and the sea. So at the end of this coastal drive, we will arrive at the Bohol Beach Club, which is a hotel that looks very nice and it's pet friendly. So we did a search basically for one of the best pet friendly hotels on Bohol. And this is the one that came up. So we're super excited to check it out and even more so excited because our family is already there waiting for us. Lola Luz and Grandad Rob flew in last night so we're intercepting them today. They're probably still asleep. It's only like six o'clock in the morning for us now. So once Poppy's finished doing her sniffing, we're gonna get on the road. Now that we're getting our confidence up, driving in the Philippines by a car and by a road, we are planning on extending our trip for whole first. And then once we're finished here, perhaps we will go over to Cebu and then from Cebu back to Chargao. So today's video, we will just be focusing on the coastal drive, our first impressions on this overcast day and we will see what is on this coast all the way down to the beach club. Later this week, we will obviously go and see the famous Chocolate Hills, which is what Bohol is most famous for. The Tarsier Monkey Sanctuary as well. There's an amazing cave I wanna check out, plenty to see. Okay, Bobby, you've lost your chance now. You spent so long sniffing, you didn't even do anything. Let's get driving, yeah? When there's a gap in the noise from the music and from the highway traffic, you can actually hear lots of tropical birds up in these trees. Not that chicken sound, of course. Just crossing safely. We're good to go. Jay, you got back in the car just in time. I did, yeah. Probably got a little walk in. <laughs> I saw that rain cloud coming towards us. So far, it's been a pretty sweet road. I think we're gonna get there in the less than four hours. Yes. The sat nav is saying an hour, hour and 15 minutes now actually. Yeah. Poppy's enjoying looking out the window anyway, as always. It's really jungly, green, lots of palm trees. Yeah, I feel like it's a kind of mixture between Mindanao and Shargao. Yeah, As in nice. Mindanao mainland and Shargao. Lots of palm trees but also dense forest yeah. jungle. Yeah. But this road is lovely. Yeah, it's nice actually. It so is. just look to one side and just see the sea. Yeah, and this is the coastal road that's going to take us all the way to our hotel. It's just this one straight road, isn't it? Yeah, the it whole way, easy. pretty much. Don't even need a oh, sat nav. Story that she just called out from the back seat there and said, I feel like we live here. <laughs> we oh, can. we can. I feel like we can live here. Okay. Story's a very good traveller. In fact, when we were on the boat, Story was like, oh no, when we, before we got on the boat, when we were waiting, she said, like, I really love travelling. It's so great, isn't it? <laughs> and then on the boat, she was really excited before she went and fell asleep. And she was like, I, I didn't know boats had beds. <laughs> One thing we noticed on the boat over here on the ferry was that there weren't really anyone else doing what we're doing. There were no kind of road trippers or families in their 
cars or anything like that. Two no. vans, a pickup, and us. It looked like they were mostly lugging cargo or yeah. hauling something. I mean, the boat was pretty full. There were a few spare beds, but not many. And they were all foot passengers who then, when they got off the boat, they all bundled onto a bus to go elsewhere. So we were the only kind of yeah. road tripping family. And Poppy was the only dog yes. on board, which was actually really cute. <laughs> idea of like inter-island travel is not quite like set up yet it's yeah. quite complex there's lots of paperwork it's very yeah. expensive so yeah. that's probably why people don't bring their cars and keep driving yeah another thing we have just noticed we've just driven past a couple of fuel stations yeah. the fuel price is the same as what we pay on shark house so it's quite expensive on fuel here yeah. over 90 pesos yeah. yeah, so whatever's affecting the fuel prices in Shargao is affecting it here too. That one we just went past was 99. Whoa. I've not seen one that close to 100 yet. Well. They won't have enough slots yeah. on their machine, on their wall. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really pretty drive though, isn't it, yeah. so far? Come back to the coast again. Yeah, I and, love uh, driving along the coast like this, it's nice. I'm noticing that there is a broader diversity of trees here. So just looking around, you can see a palm tree. There'll be like a, the, the African style looking tree, the one that looks a bit flat on the top. <laughs> I don't know the names of trees, of course, but you can see that there's a, definitely a, more of them, more different types. It's nice to see that. How are you finding driving these roads? This is quite a small road, but I think it's one of the kind of main roads. Yeah. And it's... as a passenger, we've had quite a few close overtakes haven't we and <laughs> quite, misses, there's yeah. a few speedy gonzaleses on the road <laughs> yeah. well luckily i'm one of them but it's very tight and very fast so if you're not a confident driver you might get pushed off the road a little bit but yeah nothing i haven't encountered before i've got the coast on one side and some nice looking rice terraces on the other it looks a bit terraced like yeah. those terraced actual terraces oh, yeah first big bridge there's been a lot of little bridges, hasn't there? There has, and I just saw the famous riverboat tours that go along the river. I'm looking forward to doing lots of stuff while we're here. <laughs> really excited. We are now on the Borja Bridge, which is... Borja. Oh, okay. Borja Bridge. <laughs> I was trying to work it out. <laughs> Certainly had a funny accent. Yeah. It is taking us across to Panglao Island, which is our destination yes where our hotel is we're far now no we're not about 20 more minutes driving and we will be there whoops we actually just took a wrong turn didn't we yeah. <laughs> well, we've come off into this like residential area which is full of really old houses i've just seen that i've had a missed call just now from my dad so he must be up now we are very close to our hotel now just five kilometers left <laughs> So Bo Hall is actually 10 times the size of Shargao. It's an island still, but it's much, 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 much bigger. Yeah, it feels like it too. The drive here would have been the entire length of the island, but just getting from the port to the hotel, yeah. which we're about to turn up to now. It's looking lovely outside. It is, and we are very, very excited to explore this island, and we're very much gonna enjoy our stay here. We are gonna go ahead and end video for this morning. I don't know if you can hear in the background there, Story is fast asleep, actually snoring away. A quick overall first impression, Jay? I like it. I want to see some of the tourist sites to give a proper first impressions. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!